Silicon Valley definitely is a melting pot of ideas, of technologies, and one of the best facets of Silicon Valley is people's perspective. They're coming from all different parts of the world. The Silicon Valley hackathon is, is special, it's, it's different. This is sort of the heart of technology worldwide, and the quality and caliber of, of people here at this hackathon uh, is just stunning. It's extraordinarily exciting to be here. I like to code because I've never really found a passion. I've tried playing several instruments, I've tried playing many sports, I've tried to dance, but I never really found that I was good at it. So when I learned coding, I immediately got hooked. I love to code because I love building products and I love building things that I could like potentially get out into the market and then other people can use and benefit from. I love coming to Angel Hack to come and watch people get together, express their ideas through code, and actually to turn an idea into something real. I like coming to Angel Hack because, I mean, first off, it's a fun environment. Everyone's just goofing off and having a good time, but at the same time, they're doing some serious work and making some great connections. Angel Hack was actually pretty key in launching Firebase a couple of weeks before we actually launched our product. We went to one of the Angel Hacks to kind of get some feedback and try it out, build some early buzz, and it was really critical in both raising a round of investment and getting some solid customer feedback on the product itself. Really excited because the company that I founded, Boys Bunny, uh, was actually born uh, out of a hackathon a couple of years ago. So coming back to a hackathon as a, as a sponsor uh, instead of a participant is really, is really amazing. Hackathons are not just hackathons. They're networking events where you can come and meet co-founders, really good developers, um, just well-rounded tech entrepreneurs. One, we have a lot of fun things to do. And two, the people that are here are really, really easy to talk to. And they're all here kind of just open and ready to meet people, learn new things, and share experiences. You get new people with new ideas, people challenging the way things have always been done. And I mean, that's how you're going to get the next big thing, is by people taking huge risks, challenging the way things have been done. and. It's hard to do that outside of an environment that really is conducive to that, and, and Angel Hack is that conducive environment. One of the things about Angel Hack's hackathons is uh, they've got this down to a science, right? So what you do is you get a lot of great ideas that actually come to life, and more importantly, it's also about a lot of fun, right? So they create an environment where people can come, hang out, really think through their ideas, and build something compelling. The overnight experience is, is how we believe hackathons should be done, because there you get the full gamut of what it feels like to stay up throughout the night with somebody. And we're a little immature at times and do things a little bit differently because we have no rules in this industry. And I think the hackathon really represents that and that culture. And the fact that we can come to a place and see all celebration around it makes it very, very special, both to us as sponsors, but also, you know, I'm also looking at it from, from the perspective of someone who was a developer. And it's a party. After we're done with our events, it feels like we just got done with science camp. If yeah. We're saying bye it's to our like, friends. It's like, it's like a camp. Yeah, and like you're just like, I can't wait to see you again. And there's always this buzz and there's always certain people that you're really, really looking forward to seeing after, you know, three months or six months. also the only event out there that puts the extra mile in to take them from a hackathon project and put them through the process of getting that to a finished product and introducing them to mentors that can help them get to that finished product and bringing them to Silicon Valley, which is a dream for these people all around the world. Even if they don't want to move here, they all want to have the experience of coming here. They all want to have the experience of going to Facebook and Google and being on the campuses and meeting their reps and being the top tier investors from Andreessen Horowitz or Google Ventures or uh, reps from TechCrunch and all these great fun things we set up for them. We do two weeks of parties and mansion parties and it's awesome, you know? How, how, could, how could they not want to do it?